the newspapers for story tales. Get okay, we're back. Part three here. Uh, the how to video. Alright, uh, my antenna pole. Okay, the top of my antenna pole. Let's pretend that this is a white piece of PV PVC piping, like my antenna pole is. Okay, what I would do is, at the top of my pole, I drill a hole just a couple inches down from the top through the pipe. Okay, and let me grab my wire here. Bring the wire through the holes, and let me set the camera down one second. Hang on. All right. Basically, there's the top of my antenna. I would put it through them holes, and then right here, I would just give it a couple twists around. Uh, actually, that's how I have mine. I should not twist it at all. I should just solder a point right there. You don't want any dead ends on your antenna. This way, nothing can escape from an end of the wire. And you don't want a lot of twists or anything, because then you're, you're causing more induction and another effect. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about the antenna wire? Uh, you cannot have it bending around corners. You cannot have it touching anything. Not even a tree branch or a leaf. Uh, it does not work attaching it to the side of my house or on a roof or to tree branches. Uh, it has to be, if you put it to the side of a house, it has to be insulated from the house, well insulated from the house. Okay, a thick piece of wood. Um, but then watch how you attach the end of the wire to that piece of wood. Don't have a bunch of coils and windings around a, a nail or something. Just a solder joint or a screw that would just flat, uh, 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 fasten the screw down. Um, what else can I say about the antenna wire? It's, it's so important not to touch anything and to get it as high as possible. Um, and not to and not to have it going around corners. Um, someone has mentioned about if you go around a corner. I have not tried this to run the wire through a corner piece of copper tubing or piping. That way, if the electrons escape from the outside they ride on the surface if they escape from the surface of the wire going around the corner they would transform to the ID of the copper pipe and then back out to the surface I don't know if that works so if somebody wants to try going around a corner that's how I would try it running the wire through a copper pipe um, we put an internet terminal in every Let's store see. So you can what prices. else have I not covered? Price, we'll beat it by 10 of the difference. I will the share with you something else. My notebook. The notebook. Many, many formulas, many pages. Let me show you just a few things here. It might help some of you guys out. Here's Ohm's Law, Power power uh, uh, formulas, power, current, resistance, voltage, okay, and there's power in watts, voltage in volts, current in amps, resistance in ohms, there's a little thing on resistors, hard to make that out. Let's see what else we got. Here's. Oh boy, it's hard to get close enough to see. There's a bunch of formulas. Uh, let's see. 
other side here. Whoops. Thing is, if I zoom out far enough for you to see the whole page, you can't make out any of the equations. Duty cycle. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, there's some more on the other side. If you guys like formulas, man. Root mean square. RMS peak. Number peak is only half of peak to peak voltage. Uh, let's see. Time period. Frequency. Waves. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, sound waves. Oh my god, so many. You don't have to watch all this, guys. You could skip, end this video now if you want. Because uh, I think I've said everything I could think of right now about our circuits. I'm just sharing with you some, some formulas. So if uh, you're bored at this point, yeah, just turn it off. Change your channel. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share a few formulas there, if you could even make anything out. I'd like to build this thing next. I was thinking a lot about this lightning screen. Oh, yeah, that looks good. So anyhow, that's about that, guys. Uh, let's see. Hey, Paul William Mueller, Inventor 3. There's the blog site, paulslab.blogspot.com. A uh, little information at the bottom of that site about the circuit. Here's my company, CNC Machining. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, all kinds of machining actually. Also a cutting tool I invented is at this location, www.millanyangle.com. Uh, if you want to talk, here's the company phone number. I enjoy talking about space and time and light especially. Uh, energy, anti-gravity, whatever you want. If you have any questions, Okay, so that's it for now. Till next time, we'll see you later. Take care, guys.